some of the developers of free software also make money from it. And usually this involves some kind of, usually this involves either providing service of adaptation for various individual clients or some kind of organization that can raise funds from more people, which will then pay the programmers. Uh, I think it's also legitimate to sell free software copies, either across the net or on physical media. And I've always urged people when they do this to charge enough that they're making some money on it. They shouldn't think that there is some imperative for the price to be low. If you've got an opportunity to raise money for free software development by doing something ethical, don't waste your opportunity. Charge enough money that you make a living on it. Don't think that you should be providing these CDs as cheaply as possible. My main work is promoting the philosophy of free software. I give a lot of speeches about this, and I also guide people when they ask me questions. And <clears throat> I also occasionally write and publish articles. The Free Software Foundation's main projects include the Free Software Directory, which lists now about 3,500 free software packages. So if you want to find the free software that will do a certain job, you can look there. It's www.gnu.org slash directory. And another thing that the Free Software Foundation does is enforcing the GPL. Now, we are constantly in encountering companies and sometimes individuals that are violating the GNU GPL, and we get them to clean up their act. Another thing that the FSF does is sell books about free software, free manuals, for instance. They're free in the sense of freedom, but if you want to get a printed copy from us, you're going to have to pay for that.